Hello lovely, in this video we're gonna give you model answers and vocabulary about wild animals. I'm Maria. And my name is Rory. And we're here to help prepare you for IELTS speaking and have a little bit of fun along the way. What happened when the lion ate the clown? He felt funny. <laughs> yes, dear listener, we I are starting sad. this episode. Wild animals with a freaking joke. So the lion, a wild animal, ate the clown. The clown is supposed to be haha funny. <laughs> sort of, sort of like that joke. <laughs> wild animals, dear listener, it's a comeback. We used to have wild animals maybe a year ago or two years ago, and it's a comeback. Wild animals. Rory, are you okay? Have you survived the joke? You okay, Rory? What are the questions? <laughs> What's your favorite wild animal? Oh, there are so many to choose from. Um, but if you force my hand, then I would say capybaras are, well, I like capybaras the best. I just think they're a perfect representation of inner peace and calm that I would really like to have in my life. And I do, but I would like to have more of it, like a capybara. Wild animals, freedom for the wild animals. Wild animals, dear listeners. So cheetahs, wolves, giraffes, baboons. What's your favorite wild animal? Could you write in the comments, all right? What's your favorite wild animal? And why is the answer capybaras? Can we have pictures of capybaras, please? I want a capybara here and here and here and here. Capybaras all around, even in front of my face. You can say there are many animals that I enjoy, but if you force my hand, so if you force my hand, force it, like to make this choice, I'd go with capybaras or giraffes or pandas. I'd go with pandas, to be honest with you. My favorite animals are pandas and capybaras, the sick. Why do you like pandas? Pandas are so cute and they're like... They are yes, they are at ease. They do whatever they want, and they they're funny as well. They do these things, and baby pandas are adorable. They're really cute. But baby capybaras are also cute. Oh yes, they are. But like pandas are, you know, they're the big and fluffy, and also this is no, that's why capybaras are a perfect representation of inner peace and calm. And if you look at capybaras, they are usually in this uh, lake surrounded by oranges and the water going down their heads and they're kind of like, yeah, zen. You can see them when they've got birds like resting on their heads and noses and the birds are sitting there doing their thing and the capybara is just like, yeah, it's fine. Capybaras. Capybaras don't mind being alone, but they live in groups are up to 40 capybaras, so they kind of, you know, flock together. How chill is that? The capybara can just be by itself and still totally fine. They're strong swimmers. Uh, what? Is there anything that they cannot do? Maybe take IELTS. Oh no, I think the capybara could take IELTS and get band 9, for sure. Are there many wild animals in your country? Well, not unless you include the people. Uh, especially those people from Glasgow. Uh, seriously, though, um, I, you, yeah, we do. Um, we have uh, foxes and badgers, and there are deer roaming around in the forests. Um, and closer to the coast, we have things like otters. Um, and I, I think there are lynxes somewhere as well, although I haven't seen those last two anywhere. Rory does know certain things about the wildlife in his country. So, dear listener, you should also know what wild animals can be seen in your country. So, Rory mentioned foxes, badgers. What are badgers? Who are they? Badgers are black and white. I want to say, well, they're mammals. They're black and white mammals. Um, and they live in, uh, well, they live underground in things called sets. But they're really like predatory they're quite vicious and apparently a lot of them have tuberculosis also deer deer you know bambi deer deer roam uh, around the forest so when they roam like you can you can imagine like a field a forest and then deer 
uh, roaming there. You haven't mentioned squirrels, wild cats, Scottish wild cats, and Rory, the classic Highland cow, which could be seen in the Scottish Highlands. I don't know if the Highland cow counts as a wild animal. Oh, uh, so really wild. How are they wild? They live on farms. No, in the Highlands. They're all this, you know, this Scottish... They have farms in the Highlands. Okay, okay, but wild cat. Scottish wild cat, it's the, by the definition. It's wild and it's a cat. Wild cat, one word. Also, Scotland has this coastal area and the, what do you have, the sea, the ocean? I think we have both, but um, most of the time we're talking about the sea because there's the North Sea on one side and the Irish Sea on the other. But way up in the far north, there's the Arctic Ocean, which is quite close. And dear listener, in Scotland we have humpback whales. Whales. Okay, this is... Do we? Oh, yeah. I see, you still should learn about Scottish wildlife. Listen, you need no other wild animals apart from capybaras, all right? So, So, dear listener, please mention some specific animals, even if they don't live in your area. Just um, throw in some names, some nice names, like wildcats, uh, humpback whales. Capybaras. <laughs> capybaras. Tell, tell, tell the examiner you like capybaras and watch as your score goes from band five to band nine. <laughs> Otter, O double T E R. Please Google it. Uh, look at this animal. So, yeah, and also lynx. Uh, Rory, there aren't any lynxes in Scotland. Sorry, darling. darling. They just, they. I'm, I'm sure maybe I was mistaking them for the wild cats then, because there is some sort of animal that's like that. But there are no lynxes. No, they want to kind of um, reintroduce lynxes to Scotland. And there are some websites with people saying why uh, they will be kind of useful <laughs> yeah, to the rural areas. They'll, they'll keep the tourists away. <laughs> they said the same thing for they were going to reintroduce wolves to Scotland. And I cannot think of a worse idea. I mean, oh, okay. Yes, wolves used to be a natural part of the ecosystem here. But could you imagine if we have wolves just running around Scotland and there are tourists who go into the highlands? I think that's just a recipe for disaster. So, dear listener, wild boars, gorillas, monkeys, hippos, deer, uh, what else? Cheetahs, wolves. So go ahead, okay? Capybaras. But to be super cool and full of awesome, choose some strange names of uh, rare animals just to show off your super vocabulary. You can prepare for this now. In the comments, could you write your favorite wild animal, but don't go like a monkey or like a wild cat. Be something, you know, could be creative like otters or I don't know what else. Capybaras. <laughs> Have you ever seen wild animals? In Scotland, yeah, you can see uh, deer in the meadows and the forests um, all the time. Although, particularly in the morning when it's quiet, uh, because they're a bit skittish, I suppose. Um, and near the coastal areas, there are birds like seagulls, and um, in the in between parts, so like in the rivers and in the coastal areas, you've also got herons, which are uh, big. Um, I, I guess I, I suppose you would call them. Um, big uh, birds that feed on aquatic life, like fish. So you see them fishing there all the time. Have you ever seen wild animals? Well, okay, maybe in the zoo, maybe on television. If you've never seen any wild animals, you can just imagine, yeah, dear listener. So maybe you see a deer in the meadows. Meadows are what, kind of like fields? I guess so, yeah. Um, they have a couple of sparse trees in them. And you can also say a couple of things about birds. Well, they're also wild animals, birds, seagulls, for example, or uh, you mentioned a specific bird, this herons. Yes, herons are magnificent birds, if you ever see them. They have very long necks and very long, sharp beaks, which they use for fishing. Um, and they have a wingspan of about a meter, which is huge. I think it's about that big. It's bigger than, well, it's, it's about the same size as what I'm doing right now. Maybe slightly smaller. But they're really big and they're cool. 
Um, they look like storks, but I think storks are white, usually. Whereas herons are grey and black and white. Not as cool as capybaras. You said some word like skittish? Scottish? Skittish? Oh yeah, they're, um, they're skittish. But that just describes the kind of person, <laughs> not personality, but you know what I mean. The kind of, um, traits that they have when they're behave, uh, in their behavior. So, uh, if they see people, then they immediately fly away. Um, much like me, to be honest with you. But unlike the capybara. Skittish could be used uh, about animals or people. For example, like uh, nervous or easily frightened. So my horse, my horse, horse, yeah, I have a horse. Uh, my horse is very skittish. Do you have a horse? No, 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 no horses. So it, fright- it gets frightened when there are many people, yeah? Where can you see wild animals in your area? Well, other than where I said already, um, I'm sure if you wandered into, well, sorry, I'm sure if you wandered deep into the forests um, and the mountain ranges, then you would probably see lots of wild animals uh, wandering pretty much unfettered by humans, um, unless, unless they're near the roads, really. And there aren't many going through the mountains, to be honest. If you wander into the forest so if you wander into the forest if you go out there in the forest you can see different wild animals in the mountains like birds and mammals mammals are animals which feed their babies with milk mammals so uh, what uh, wolves are mammals boars are oh, pretty much lots of mammals capybaras do you like watching animals in the zoo I used to, but the more I think about it, the more I find myself actually being against zoos, to be honest. Um, I think they're sort of a, almost like a species-wide excuse for destroying the natural habitats of other animals. And we think it's, oh, it's perfectly fine because we have them there in the zoo and they're safe and we can research from them. But what a lot of people don't know is that these animals suffer from something called zoocosis, which means that they... Um, repeat behaviors or engage in strange behaviors that they wouldn't normally in the wild. So you can't actually study them effectively. Um, And also, it's cruel if that's happening to them anyway. So it's all a bit pathetic, really, in my opinion. We watch animals usually in the zoos or in a circus. And uh, do we say, like, we watch animals? We what? What do we do? We watch films, but we watch animals. You can watch animals in the zoo um, or on TV. You can say that, yes, I enjoy going to the zoo or I used to do it in the past, but not anymore. Yeah, Uh, because people are destroying the habitats of animals. Because zoos are immoral. I'm sorry if you like the zoo, but it's not cool to go to the zoo. We can say that people are destroying the habitats. So the place where wild animals live, it's called the habitat of um, animals. And animals in zoos, they suffer from zoocosis. It's like psychosis for people. Why I'm showing it myself for other people. (laughs) Or zoocosis for animals. For example, oh, this panda is suffering from zoocosis. And actually, I googled it. I thought like Rory made it up, this word. No, it's real. (laughs) It's crazy. So zoocosis, zoocosis, okay, is a form of psychosis that develops in animals, dear listener, can you imagine? Held in captive in zoos. So animals are held captive. To be held captive, to be in captivity in a zoo, not in the wild. You can say, oh, I prefer watching animals in the wild, on a safari trips, for example, in Africa, not in captivity. Yeah, not in zoos. Yeah, and um, if animals have strange behaviors, they are obsessive, they have repetitive actions, so these are signs of zoocosis. It is unacceptable. And we should wrap it up with a joke, dear listener. I know you've been waiting for this moment to happen. We started off with a cringe joke and we should wrap it up this wild animals episode with a joke okay maybe rory you you can tell us a joke no okay I, i'm gonna do this okay it's okay rory. Oh, that's no. fine no pressure <laughs> how do apes 
travel across the air. In hot air baboons. <laughs> hot air baboons. A baboon, you know, a monkey. Hot air balloon. Hot I, air baboons. I need my I need my inner capybara about me to get the same. Oh, dear listener, could you check out our premium episodes speaking part two and three? For your super quality IELTS preparation, there is more vocabulary, even more grammar, not so many jokes, okay, no dead jokes for me, it's more serious, the links are in the description, and also our phrasal verb course is there for you to kind of boost your vocabulary for bands 8 and above. Thank you so much, hugs and loves, loves and hugs, loves, loves. and hugs, loves, loves and hugs. Bye. Bye.